everyone, we're Heather and Aaron of Pinkwall Designs, and in this video, we are talking all about biophilic design and why you as an investor should care about it. So I have a question for you because this next topic, um, I didn't know what it was, and it's like a new and upcoming trend. So what is biophilic design? That's a great question. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I hadn't heard it a ton either. Um, I just sort of got like introduced to it definitely this year. And the shortest of terms, biophilic design is the crossover between nature and interiors. So I'll read the technical dictionary definition, okay? Biophilic design is an approach to architecture and interior design that emphasizes the connection between humans and the natural environment through the integration of natural elements into buildings and spaces. So ideally, nature, inside smashed together that's biophilic design we're definitely seeing a lot of that in like i don't know more modern spaces it's, it's weird it's kind of considered more of like a modern thing right now it's like waterfalls inside trees um lots of wood lots of natural tones like stone so it's almost like you're walking through the door of a place but like are you inside or are you outside it's kind of like indoor outdoor living but like on a more intense scale yeah and already what you're describing to me sounds like an environment right like you're giving that experience that you're outside but inside exactly yeah why should investors care about it that's why we're here we're investors who design for investors and investors should care because of this crazy survey that happened just in 2022 so 81% of travelers, people who are booking Airbnbs and things like that, they said that they care about staying in sustainable environments. So that word sustainable is like very buzzy, very hot right now. But in this specific example, it is talking about sustainable on the functional side, but also sustainable on the aesthetic side as well. So it doesn't necessarily mean that like your water filtration system in every unit that you own is sustainable. It could mean that, you know, when you're walking into a place that you've rented, that it just feels like sustainable. Or maybe, you know, there's like a, a rug that was made from sustainable materials and it has that like earthy look to it. It could be something like that as well. So it's interiors and it's functionality, but 81%, uh, that's like a huge amount of people that care about it. Yeah, that was what I was gonna emphasize too, like 81%, that's a huge percentage of travelers that are looking for that specifically in a property that they're going to visit. Like it's not, I would have thought it would have been lower, but this is obviously like a new and upcoming trend um, that more people want to have as an experience. Totally. And I think people are going to probably start booking based on that as well, because if you have two identical Airbnbs, they're both nice, they're both decorated nicely, and then one's you know sustainable and one isn't, like I think a lot of these people are gonna book the sustainable one just because you know that's the way things are going. A lot of companies are proving their sustainability. They're trying to reduce their carbon footprint. It's important and investors need to care because people are looking for that. That's their customer, right? So we're gonna tell you guys a little bit more uh, in detail about uh, biophilic design, what it is, why you should care about it and stay watching for the rest of this video for more information. So one thing biophilic design improves would be your overall well-being. Um, a lot of people I think are on this like self love, self help journey that giving this ability by, um, having those natural elements, I think would be like huge for your branding and also attraction to your property. So a good note actually that you were saying earlier is a city property, you know, hustle bustle. A lot of people just want to be grounded in the earth and have like that more nature and like go with the flow vibe. So if you have elements that kind of bring in that calmness, like plants, earthy tones, you know, like in your property, then I think that will bring in those people that really want to focus on improving their mental health and physical health and overall well-being. Definitely. And some people, it's like a trek for them to get to a park or an outdoor space, especially if they're working long hours. So if we can, um, like you said, bring that into the space, then that's just you know, it's a little bit of a cheat, but it, ca it can definitely help with the improved well-being. So real estate investors who actually incorporate biophilic design will give their end user a happier and overall better experience. So this is going to drive up 
tenant, occupant, satisfaction, and retention. So another element to biophilic design is that it can actually increase property value. And the reason for that is, is because the natural elements are so well utilized, um, first of all, you cut down on things like energy bills, lighting costs, you know, if you're doing floor to ceiling windows to let in a forest, um, you know, for example, then you don't need any artwork, you don't need, you know, that extra lighting, you're just letting the outside do the decor for you. Same with a lot of skylights, I, I feel like those are coming back a lot within this design scope. Just again, the natural light and um, just allowing people to really feel like they're in nature. So on the functionality side of biophilic design, you end up with a lot of energy efficient and cost effective solutions. So obviously as a real estate investor, that's gonna be huge if you can maximize your ROI, limit your expenses. Who doesn't wanna do that? Everybody. So, you know, from a functional standpoint as well, there's a lot of things that can be done within this style of design. So another great note is enhanced productivity. So we all know that in biophilic design, you can have better focus, you have better air quality, better noise control that you are gonna go in, in an office space and get more work done and just be more productive. For sure, like your environment is everything, right? And you know, as human beings, we're designed ultimately to be outside more. So if you're like in an office with those like tube lights for 10 hours a day, it is like horrible for your physical and mental health. So if you can just shift that 10 hour shift into a biophilic oriented space, that's gonna make a huge difference for your mental and physical health. At the end of the day, real estate investors who prioritize biophilic design can actually increase sustainability. Yeah, which is a huge buzzword, whether you're for it, against it, or neutral about it. You can't ignore that consumers and people are looking for sustainability and, you know, want it and uh, want to incorporate it more in their life. Yeah, the natural elements of, you know, doing a ductless unit instead of an entire HVAC system throughout your property actually looks a little nicer. Like you can, yes, it's something on your wall, but there's modern, it's sleek, it's pretty basic, but you have full control over it on and off. And then you really only use it when you need it because you have daylight coming in, that's primary heat source. So another element with biophilic design is that it really encourages community. And especially since the pandemic, people are very much lacking in community. And we're gonna, I think, already sort of starting to see a huge reboot in how humans create a community and create spaces together. We were already on our way to losing it in 2019. The pandemic just like really stabbed it in the heart. We were like as isolated as we've ever been during that time. And I think we're now on the rebound from that. So biophilic design is gonna be very, very crucial in bringing those community spaces together. Again, kind of like nodding towards how you know human beings did it way back in the day. Everything was community-based, everything was outdoors, a lot of natural elements, everything we've sort of uh, told you guys about within the biophilic design realm is really going to uh, bring it out again, but in more of a modern 2023 type of way. So on that note of kind of being all cooped up, um, properties that are giving that ability to still have that experience in their property itself, such as like a rooftop garden, they aren't necessarily having to go out to search for that because it's already an amenity that you guys provide for your guests. Landscapes as a whole as well, I'm really seeing this a lot with builders and new, like we were saying before, commercial buildings as well as new condo buildings. Um, I think planners and city developers are seeing the need for green space and a lot of cities are looking very gray, very black, very blue. And um, people are doing like garden, like you sort of mentioned garden tops or garden roof spaces within their high rise buildings. So even if there's like a landing that's not even gonna be utilized, they're making them gardens because just as a whole, it um, from an aerial perspective, it just brings more greenery back to humanity ultimately. 
We were on our way as a society losing that. And I think people are like, hold on a second. Like we need to bring this back. And biophilic design is likely going to be the leader in bringing that, those elements back to us. Uh, especially within the real estate area. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you liked this video, if you like our content, we would heavily recommend subscribing to our channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Pink Wall Designs and stick around for more content exactly like this.